Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. Uh, I've got a bit of a silly strap thing on my head today uh, and that's because in the recent videos I've uh, had the camera that I'm holding now, the GoPro, um, stood in front of the trees that I'm working on and what I found was I'm always getting my hands across the lens you know and in the way so the idea is the GoPro that I'm holding in my hand now fits here and then whatever I'm looking at you guys will see so I'm hoping that works quite well um, so if you just uh, bear with me for the next couple of videos we'll try that out and uh, if you let me know down in the comments whether you like it or not or whether we need to go back to a different way of doing it today though before we uh, start doing any work on the trees we're going to go across to my daughter's house and rescue a holly bush which is uh, being threatened with being burnt out so we're going to go across there dig it out and see if it's uh, suitable to become a bonsai otherwise we'll help dispose of it and get rid of it because it's uh, in the way in their garden So off we go, road trip. We've got the shovel. Close the door. Truck's ready to go. We'll slide the shovel into the back of the truck. Close her up. So Harry's uh, going to try and dig it out first. This is the offending article right in the middle of the garden, a holly bush, an ilix. It's been chopped right down, but there's lots of new growth coming out all over it. Um, but if we don't move it, it's going to be burnt to a crisp and uh, got rid of. So we'll dig it up, see if we can save it. It's rather large. If we save it, great. If not, they were going to kill it off anyway. So. Uh, Let's get digging. There's the main one, and then there's, the there's shop one, one there, one there. There's another bit there, one there. Yep, yeah, there's lots to it. It yeah. probably spreads out and branches up. They'll have been suckers at one point, which are now 
probably almost a, a tree in itself. We're going away around. Uh, do you want to put anything down for the soil or just chuck it down and rake it back after? Oh, well, Good boy, Harry. Good job. Yes, please.
So we've had a good hour or so, maybe two, grafting away at this and you can see we've exposed a lot of the roots there but uh, we're nowhere near budging this thing so uh, we carry on. What do we do Harry? Grab one side, sir. Go for a big lift. Straight up. The summer it's still. Yeah. This one here. You get that bar. Break that root. No, thank you. You move that way, mate. That's it, that should be it gone. Right, up she goes. Still got on there. So here we are, all we have is a hole where the holly bush once sat. And here she is. And she's absolutely massive. Um, we'd probably have to chop all the roots off all the way around to try and get it into a, a bit of a pot um, and maybe not have really a lot left at the bottom so it'll be a challenge one way or another um, but we'll see how we go forward we may just let it go uh, but it would have been an interesting one to try and develop going forward so it's out we're going to take it down to the bottom of the garden and see if we can get it into our new little pot planting that we've got for it. Uh, be an interesting solution that you'll see that we've got for it. So let me just show you that. So here we go, this is the solution. A child's play pit. It's the biggest thing that I could think of that we could uh, put it in quickly. But even seeing that, that thing's a lot bigger than this pit. So we'll have to take some of the side branching off, get a layer of soil in the bottom there, and then we'll uh, get some soil in and around those roots and uh, see if she continues to grow. There's life in it, hopefully she can continue, but we'll have to take some of these long extending branches off to be able to fit it into there. So we'll get some soil and get cracking. So we've got a mound of soil in our pot and we've cut a lot of the roots off the side so it's not so wide and expanding and we've taken a small layer off the bottom so we're, uh, you know, if she's going to live she's going to have to work hard. So let's get her into this makeshift pot. I reckon that bit that. to the front, All right. that bit's like the curve of the love art, yeah. and it's whether or not there's enough off. off of that. So if you can grab there, I'll grab here. Yeah. So it weighs an absolute ton, and let's see if we can get her in. So we've done it for positioning the pot, we're going to have to take the roots off a little bit here and we'll just have to take some off around this edge and then a little bit here and maybe some just around the back and then we'll be able to fill it in with soil, push that down into the pot as far as it will go and then fill her up but uh, yeah she's a big one. All that time there's Adam now, they decided to jump back there. Want to pop those up? No. <laughs> I've got time. Two nice runner ducks down here. Like Skittles. Probably wants to play Skittles with you.
comes up for that, any of that. So that's going to do it today for Let's Do Bonsai. If uh, if it survives, we'll have a nice big ginormous bonsai. If it doesn't survive, they were going to kill it anyway. So uh, although it's totally the wrong time of year to have done anything like this, the thing was condemned to death anyway. So uh, hopefully it survives and uh, we've got something to work with going forward. So. As always, I've been Scott Winard for Let's Do Bonsai. Have a great rest of your day, make the most of it. If you go outside, try to wear a mask if you can. Uh, be kind to others, animals and the planet. And as always, I'll see you again in the next one.